Hi fellow Mega Things, today I'm going to do a video that I've been promising you for some time and that is the Babble of the BB Creams. I've got here six BB Creams that I've been testing and particularly over about the past two month period. Um, I'll start with the one that is the oldest, the one that I got first which is the Garnier BB Cream. This is in the shade Light. Now you'll find um, now they are bringing out BB Creams that are in different colours. I think MUA has light, medium and dark. But these were originally designed um, to be for lighter toned skin um, because they were actually designed originally uh, for people after they'd had surgery on their skin just to cover any kind of redness or scarring. So they are very good for the skin um, but also they do kind of even out your skin tone. And these were used in Asia a lot for actresses who wanted to have that very pale, very um, almost porcelain doll like skin was just absolutely perfect and just so pure and pale um, but now they are like in well there's a lot of them out there now really these are marketed generally this was the first one to come on the scene that I'm aware of um, in the UK market uh, this was originally retailing for £9.99 um, but you can usually pick this up on offer somewhere. I've actually got a couple of backups of this because I absolutely love this. I found my skin cleared up a lot using this because I was using a lot less foundation. I wasn't using concealer, wasn't using colour corrector and I wasn't putting on um, or putting into my foundation um, sort of uh, highlighter because I used to use Hocus Focus by Soap and Glory. I wasn't using any of those things. So it dramatically took down how many products I was putting on my skin. And plus it's got SPF which is very good to protect your skin against the sun because I always forget to put sun cream on. And then even if um, I am out and about um, and it, I realise obviously when you get outside and it's a little bit hotter you've already got all of your makeup on and I also worry about putting that on top whether that's going to disturb my makeup so it's good to know that I've already got it on so I love this I love the formulation it is very fluid it's not like too thick um, I think that it does have quite a nice glow it's got a lovely fruity smell to it uh, it's uh, it spreads on the skin beautifully just for me some people say no oh, it doesn't have very good coverage this spreads as far as it will go so basically what I mean there is you put it on and when you rub it in you can feel where it starts to run out of coverage so you stop there and then you apply some more it's no good trying to think that you know you could just get a blob of this and it would cover your whole face because you're not going to get the coverage that you need if you do that it has decent decent coverage I wouldn't say that it completely covers any kind of imperfections. It is very much like, um, so, sort of like a tinted moisturiser in a way, but that's kind of what these all of these BB creams are. But this um, won't cover something like fully, especially if you do have redness of the skin or any kind of um, discoloration or any kind of spots, you will still probably need a concealer if they are very red, because this won't do anything about that. It just kind of gives you just a nice base really. If you have got really good skin, then this will probably be good enough for you. Um, the medium to me is quite dark, but I'm very pale. The light suits me. Um, but I think basically um, why this suits me as much, I mean it could be lighter really. If I was just wearing on it on its own, only this, I probably would need it to be lighter because I, I am very pale. But because I actually wear foundation over the top of this, then it's okay for me. And I just find that it's a lovely base and it just really kind of means I don't have to use concealer unless I have a really red angry spot. Um, I had a bit of a breakout on my nose and I had to use concealer for that alongside this. I don't think any of these BB creams I'm about to talk about though do fully cover that kind of thing so it's not unique in any way. The next one I got and tried out was the number 17 BB cream. Um, this was I think £6.99 and I think I had got £2 off it when I originally came out. So I got this for £5 and it came in a box quite nicely presented. Um, this is in light, again I think this comes in two colours. The oh, I need my glasses. <laughs> The Garnier BB Cream is 50 mils, and this one is 30 mils. So this is a smaller size, um, and it's I think it retails for around six or seven pounds, and you can you know get 20 mils more in this package, and so it's, this is not as good value, I don't think. You know I love number 17 makeup, but I don't think this is as good value. This one here is thicker to me. It's got a definite thicker consistency. Um, I don't know. It's probably is a little bit well it's a similar color I think to the Garnier but it just feels thicker so I think this one does have a little bit more of a coverage I think um, 
and it feels very matte when you put it on kind of sticky at first but um, then just kind of evens out the smell doesn't particularly have a great smell it's like I don't mean as in great as in it's got a bad smell it just it's not very scented really um, this one however I was trying all of these products using all of these products for a week so I could get a good idea of different situations work home going out on a night just lots of different things um, just seeing how it kind of performed so this one here this one after using it for a week did break me out I did find that um, I don't think it was any other thing I didn't differ anything else I was using in my skin routine it just kind of brought me out a little bit on the forehead and across the cheeks um, I don't know if it's because it's a thicker formulation it could be to do with that um, but it is nice it does have a nice coverage it does feel like a nice consistency like I said it is that little bit thicker I do think that it probably does give a little bit more coverage than the Garnier does um, but I do really like it it is a nice BB cream and I am still using it but what I'm doing is I will use it and then I just use it maybe one or two days and then I'll just use something else so I just kind of use this every now and then just to stop the kind of breaking out scenario the next two I'm going to talk about are ones that I got in swaps that I did with people the first one is this one let's have a look at how much you get in here I don't know how much this was unfortunately this is 40 mils and it's the shine ruby repairing bee blush be blush balm that's what it's called so this is whitening this has got SPF in it as well and wrinkle improvement so this is the packaging of this one this one's nice um, let me have a, I think this is just the lightest this is thicker again um, this one does have a smell now this smells like something else but I can't think what it is. I think it smells like um, the number seven moisturizer. It's got that cucumbery sort of fresh sort of smell. This is thicker than the other two are, and it does have a lot, f um, a lot more coverage to it. So when you put it on, it definitely feels like you've got something on your skin. When you put the Garnier on, I just feel like I've moisturized. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on my skin. Um, it just gives a nice glow. Um, but this one you do feel like you've got something on your skin but like I said it does have a lot more coverage to it it is a lovely match for my skin and I didn't find that this one broke me out and it did work really well under foundation and it stayed on all day so I think that you could probably maybe have a look for eBay or Amazon uh, you might be able to find this there I don't know where else I would get that from but then again as much as I like this one I wouldn't repurchase it if I could find it it's nice but it's nothing special um, Garnier would still be the one that I would choose now the next one is a one that I also got in a swap this one has a pump action lid this is by the brand is called Innisfree um, this is the green tea one this is the eco natural green tea BB cream um, and it says it matches your natural your individual skin tone this is a 50 ml sample this one is actually um, it's all in a foreign language on the back this is um, from another country but of course it does have the English on the front this one is nice um, I actually use this one a lot did you see that <laughs> it always squirts out that's the only drawback of this um, I think this is a nice match for my skin tone as well it's nice and pale and it does have quite a thick coverage to it um, smell wise it's green tea it does have a very nice fresh sort of again it's almost that kind of cucumbery sort of smell like I know it's green tea so it obviously smells of green tea but if you haven't smelled green tea it does have that quite nice herbal smell about it but it's not too strong what I love about this is the coverage of this um, this ha gives amazing coverage and it works fantastically under foundation it doesn't budge all day long it just gives you a very flawless complexion I absolutely love this one I have been using this a lot but taking it easy to be honest I know that sounds weird but I was using it loads when I first got it but there's not a great deal of product left in there so I have noticed I have done a bit of research on this one I can actually buy this on eBay and I think it's around the £10 mark so I am going to invest in getting another one of these just because I've been so impressed with it I feel like 
it's really good for my skin as well obviously it's the green tea one and it's natural it just feels nice and refreshing on the skin and just lasts all day long and it's just really really lovely BB cream I like that it's a pump action even though it just squirted me <laughs> I think it's just a little bit different to have it like that and it's nice and clean the other ones tend to get a little bit gunky I've actually just cleaned this one up today but it tends to get a bit gunky like when it comes out and you kind of get your finger on it and it yeah it goes all over anyway you don't get that with this but if you're going to be pumping it you want to pump it into your palm because it does squirt out when you first have your first squirt of this product um like i said it's very thick beautiful coverage and i love this one so i'd have to say that these two are in a par and you know how impressed i am with the garnier i put these two on a par with each other um this is better for coverage though the next one is the one that my good friend Aisha Khan sent me. We did like a little swap and she sent me this one which is the Estee Lauder BB Cream. So this is just a little sample one. I managed to get three uses out of it though because a little tends to go a long way with these BB creams. This is five mils so it's not huge. Um, there it is, it's a cute little tube. This is amazing, I have to admit it. I have got a little bit left in this tube, um, so I will be trying to make that go as far as I can and probably get one more application out of that. This is one of the ones I haven't tested so much just because it purely is a sample size. I have worn it three times, um, but I love this. This is amazing, I think it's quite expensive though. It's around the 20 pounds mark, so that kind of puts me off in a way, just because, um, you know, when you're watching your money and you want to get the most out of your money and you, you know, there's lots of other products that you want and it's it's a big splurge in one area um, but I do love this it's just lovely and creamy and soft it just goes onto your skin beautifully and it gives you a lovely flawless kind of look um, again these are not massively good coverage wise none of them are um, but the coverage of this is decent I just loved how flawless it was I didn't get blotchy or patchy with this one so this one was very good the last one that I've got is the number seven beautiful skin BB cream. This one is I picked it up in normal to oily. It's got a UVA of 15 or SPF 15. This one is a 40 ml sample. I think this is this retails for around the 12 pounds mark. I did have a five pound voucher off this, so that's why I actually got this one to try. Number seven are the first brand that I'm aware of that are doing it for different skin types, which is a very good idea. Um, so you can get it for combination, dry. This one's normal to oily because I do have an oily nose area and around my chin. So that's why I picked up the oily one. Right, this one. This is a beautiful um, skin match colour. I just feel like it just blends in lovely this doesn't have much of a smell either it's got the same sort of smell as number 17 just a a gentle sort of product smell <laughs> but nothing too strong nothing that where you could particularly pick up on any scents there like you couldn't say it was floral or anything or herbally it's nothing of those uh, this gives a decent coverage when you first put it on however my issue with this one is is towards the end of the day i noticed that my foundation was looking very patchy um so I don't think this was very good for that reason and I know it wasn't the foundation because it was bourgeois healthy mix that I used with these I used the same foundation with each and then I tried them all again with the Maybelline 24 hour superstay and there was no difference between how the foundation stayed on so it was you know what I mean it's like those foundations work well for me they last all day so I kind of used them both um, but this one did not I didn't wasn't impressed with this one because it didn't last all day if I was going out on a night time I would use this one because it's good for you know a good couple of hours and it was nice it felt lovely on the skin it blended beautifully it had decent coverage so it was okay I would not repurchase this one um, just because you do get a little bit patchy as the day goes on um, which is a bit of a shame really because you know I love my number seven products um, so there you go so that's my battle of the BB creams I've been promising this video for some time um, as I say my favorite ones are Innisfree and Garnier and my least favorites and this surprises me is number 17 and number seven um, because it breaks me out and it goes patchy so and if I could afford it I definitely invest in this because um, it's beautiful. 
so there you go that's my BB cream uh, video I've really enjoyed trying these out and just kind of seeing how well they fare on my skin I still love the Garnier BB cream I still use it every day I think I just love it it's made a huge difference to my skin so that's all for now I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and see you all soon bye